You need to take charge of your delivery. You need to speak of power. You need to speak of confidence. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 proven public speaking tips that you can use to become confident and to what, speak with power during your presentations. So number one is you need to understand your audience. If you understand your audience, you are on your way to great public speaking. Your audience are your customers. Your audience are the reason why you are standing in front of them to speak. You want them to benefit. You want to inform them. You want to entertain them. You want to give them that opportunity to inspire them. So if you don't understand them, you may not be able to speak of power. So number one is understand your audience. Do your audience analysis very well. The more you do your audience analysis, you will understand them and you will understand their needs. And based on that, you can deliver your presentations to meet their needs and to give them hope, to give them opportunity or whatever your intention of speaking is. Number two is learn to structure your speech effectively. Some people complain that yes, when they go on stage, everything in their mind vanishes. It's true because you don't structure your speech. You don't know what you are going to start with. You don't know what you are going to say in the middle of your presentation. And you don't know how to even conclude. So I'm just here to urge you that if you want to become a good speaker, learn to structure your presentation effectively. And the more you do this, the more you can create opportunity to speak and know how to start your presentation. Part of the structuring process is to know how to start your delivery. How do you introduce yourself? What's the power? What's the strength that you use to start? It all helps. Number three is that you utilize the power of storytelling. Public speaking is all about storytelling. If you learn to tell good stories, you can speak of power. But if you're not telling good stories, then you are losing a lot. So if you want to become a good speaker, learn to tell stories. Inspirational stories, creative stories, personal stories, stories of products, whatever story you can lay on, you need to learn to tell it effectively. And there are ways and different means that you can use to tell stories. You can use images, you can use visuals, whatever you want to use to tell your story, you need to do it. Because when you learn to tell stories, you can do more as a speaker. Number four is that develop engaging visuals and slides. Use visual representation, use uh, slides. If you want to use marker boards, it's possible for you to use. If you want to use videos to inspire your audience, you can use that, but engage that. You need to develop that. Don't just go and put your visuals and put a lot of information that you yourself can't even read. You prepare slides that you can't even read. No, make it simple for you to understand. Make it simple for your audience to follow and make it simple for you to be able to deliver that presentation. Number five is that you need to employ strong body language. Your body language makes a difference. And the more you are able to project your body language, you can be able to do more. So body language simply means that the way you lift up your hands, the way you smile, the way you look around, the way you walk on stage makes a difference. And this all encompasses body language and the techniques that you can use to speak, to move, and to do whatever you want to do. So body language is key and it's important for you to understand that to be able to do more, your body language can also help you win your delivery. Number six is that enhance your vocal delivery. Change your voice. Don't just go with one tone. Sometimes bring it down. Sometimes raise up your pitch. And the more you do that, you are giving the audience different scenarios. You are giving them different attention. And you are giving them that captivating moment to be able to listen and hear you clear. If your audience are making noise, they are walking around, they are Sometimes you need to project, raise up your voice. But most of the times, I try to speak slow, soft, smooth, to just get their attention. If they're on their phone, I try to let them struggle to listen to me. And sometimes I lift my speech up, the pitch up, to be able to do that. Number seven is that you need to manage stage fright. 
you need to manage stage fright it's important in the last video i did i talked about how to manage stage fright you need to learn to coordinate you need to learn to speak to your audience you need to learn to take charge of your body if you are shivering if you are shaking and things are not moving on well you need to take charge of that if you cannot control your stage fright people will know that you are conf you are not confident they will know that your confidence is in doubt and if, don't, they don't, if your audience don't believe that you are confident, whatever you are saying, they may not be able to take that. So you need to show that you are confident. You need to show that you are in charge. So based on this, you need to take, uh, take charge of your stage and control your stage and your emotions. Number nine, eight is that seek and utilize feedback. Sometimes we feel like we just can do it and we can do it and uh, we keep speaking and we don't get feedback from our audience and that affects our delivery so you need to learn to take feedback from your audience you need to learn to hear from your audience what they think how you do how your your performance and all those things you need to take charge of that then also last but not the least is that prepare for Q&A Question and answers is important. Imagine you give a full presentation. They will ask you one question and you mess up. So you need to pre prepare. You need to plan. You need to take charge and know that your questions and answers, if you are able to answer their questions very well, it's part of the delivery. And you can be able to satisfy your audience emotions and give them their value for whatever it is, their money or time. Just because you are an expert and they expect you to give them all the answers. So you need to prepare, prepare and plan your question and answers in advance. But that will not mean that if you don't know, you don't know. Learn different techniques to let your audience know that you are going to research and get back to them. So there are techniques to answering questions and you can do more. So my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach and I'm here to let you know that you can speak in public. You can speak of power. There's a public speaking course uh, below here. In the link below if you want you can be able to enroll and sit in your at, at the comfort of your home and learn to speak of power you can also invite me to speak to do a training program for you or your staff or your team reach out to me let's do more my name is Ibrahim Mustafa thank you very much and follow me for more I appreciate